1997, the American Institute of Architects reported I-35 as a cumbersome barrier between downtown and East Austin. With growing congestion, that sentiment is echoed to this day. Ever since I-35 was built, it's served as a symbolic barrier and an, and an actual physical barrier for our community. If you think about how um, uncomfortable it is right now to cross over I-35, whether you're walking or whether you're biking or whether you're in a car. Thursday, the Austin City Council passed an item that will hire an engineer to look at a process called capping and stitching to be done in the downtown Austin I-35 corridor. This is what a cap would look like. A good example would be what the city of Dallas did with Clyde Warren Park. It's really just a large deck over the highway. If you lower the highway, which TxDOT is planning, and you put a cap over the highway, it allows us to use that space to really kind of reclaim that space for community uses. And this is an example of a stitch, basically widened bridges that run east to west. They can include sidewalks, bike lanes, and even seating areas. The Downtown Austin Alliance is one of the organizations pushing to get the project funded. TxDOT says the city would have to raise the money for caps on their own. Our hope is that TxDOT will make the caps part of the project itself. Mayor Steve Adler supports the project and is hopeful that TxDOT can utilize government funding from the recent infrastructure bill alongside money raised by the city. Quite frankly, it, 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 it's separated or, or physically segregated um, uh, parts of our community from one another. It's long overdue uh, and it's, it's really one of the things we need to do to, to, to correct uh, a prior mis uh, injustice and to, and to really create the, the dynamic of pulling the community together.